Given the amount of carbs and salt I had yesterday, I'm not entirely surprised by this number. I'm just glad it's still below 140, and if you look on my left foot, that's where I hurt myself on the back door last night. Don't even ask me what time it is. This is the current state of my craft table, because somebody had to get into his Legos last night. The smoke detector is beeping. It's time for breakfast. I really don't want to eat anything because uh, carb hangover or something. I don't know. I feel sick. And not like sick, sick, like virus or flu or anything. It just, ugh. It's 2.06. I'm still in my... Around the house clothes slash Jamie's and it's time for lunch and I don't want to eat anything but I guess I need some calories so second shake of the day gotta work that slim flat fast plant I don't want french fries anymore after a shake for breakfast and a shake for lunch and skipping any healthy snacks because I just didn't want anything solid um, this was dinner. This was some slow roasted, very juicy turkey breast, tomato, onion, and pickle. Um, it still wasn't quite enough calories, and I did have to have a third shake and a half afterward, but I think I did pretty good considering. The smoke detector at one end of the house was going off, um, to warn us, I guess, that there was a malfunction with the detector, and, uh, I possibly needed a fresh battery. All I know is that this guy was really freaked out by the really high-pitched beeps, but with those giant ears and possibly navigating by echolocation, I don't know. I can't say I blame him. I did, however, try to, you know, keep him preoccupied, keep him company, help him forget about the beeps that he seems so anxious about, and occasionally with some larger chihuahuas, if you shake them gently, they'll tremble less. I don't know if this is because they come pre-shook and they need a counter shake. This guy doesn't seem to mind, certainly. Although, yes, I, um, I did try to distract him quite a bit. It's 12.24 and um, my hair's still wet, yeah, but hey, different pajamas, so that's good. Um, you would think, and I guess I would think too, that after my cheat day in August where I felt awful afterwards, that I would have guessed that my tolerance now could be even lower and that perhaps I wouldn't have... Um, gone carb on carb on carb with extra sugar and extra carbs all in one meal yesterday. The thing that gets me was not only was that stupid, I was pretty sure I knew that was stupid when I did it. So lots of water today. I, I don't even know that I can say staying close to my usual diet because I wasn't eating what I usually eat. I got my calories up over 900, but that's all I could stomach. And I actually had to take um, some meds I usually use for anxiety because I get severely nauseous with uh, the anxiety. It wasn't so much for um, the anxiety as it was for nausea. Yuck. So. I'm hoping I will be past this and back into um, the process of low carbing and all the fun headaches and stuff. And who knows, maybe that would be the carb load I need to start dropping again a little quicker because I was at like 140, 141 for a long time there. Um, although I don't have as much to lose now, so I don't really know what's going to happen.
I mean, that, that could work either way. Um, I may have set myself back. If I did, you know what? Worth it. This is certainly enough to show me what I'm going to ha have to expect when the holidays roll around. Despite being pretty well stationary all day, um, I didn't do much reading. I watched a bunch of episodes of King of the Hill after my youngest was done with his schoolwork. And I think I've got to be prepared for the keto aid that I may need tomorrow or the next day, which is when you put a little bit of salt in the bottom of the glass, shake it up with a little bit of water, and then add water and water flavoring to be palatable. And it's basically Gatorade without the sugar. I think I've mentioned it before. I picked this up off of a uh, keto Reddit where I lurk. I'm not a member. And um, a lot of people swear by it. I figured that's about the same salt that you know would go into food normally, so it didn't seem like it would hurt anything. And it does work for me. It does help with the headaches. It helps with the uh, irritability, certainly. Goodness knows I've got enough of that without any help. I don't know where that stands, um, where medical professionals would advise, but um, my understanding from the folks who know a lot from the science side of things, and of course, you know, you should really do your own research. Well, um, my understanding is that due to the low amount of sugars in your body, your body gets used to not having that sugar available and dehydrates a whole lot faster. Water will circulate through your body a lot faster because it doesn't have the sugars holding it in. So you need the salt to kind of take up and help with that. But of course I could be mistaken on that and please never take medical advice from me or anything. I only taking responsibility for myself in this and I strongly recommend other people research anything they're gonna do very carefully look for several different sources look for legitimate sources with actual biology and medical science involved because you can do a lot of damage without even thinking about it if you're pulling the wrong stuff and there's there are horror stories out there, and I would hate for anything I say to take anyone down a wrong path. So if I talk about what I'm doing, that's specifically for me. Very careful about it. You know, aside from that junk food binge last night, I guess. And, um, you know, that wasn't even a binge. That was normal portions for somebody my size. It's just what it was that I was eating it was so awful. Um, and it's not even that awful if you're still used to carbs, but it's been since July 1st that I've tried to cut, like, as much carbs as I can get away with. I've lost my train of thought, as usual. That's okay. Um, yeah. I think that's it for me on my call at night. I didn't sleep very good last night because I was up really, really late and couldn't really function well this morning. So I'm gonna try to do better tomorrow. I'm gonna try to eat actual food for lunch. I'm gonna try to stick to as few carbs as possible carefully to try to kickstart things back into gear as I'm Pretty sure it's going to take a couple of days for me to recover from the fried chicken and fries and cake. And I am so glad I didn't do what I was tempted to do and have a root beer with it because I was this close. And I think that, that might have just, you know, there you go. Pseudo diabetes for a couple of days. I, I'm not sure what would have happened, but I'm pretty sure it would not have been very pleasant. Probably worse uh, than what I'm feeling right now. So, that is it for me for tonight. 
Thank you for sharing my day with me.